Welcome back, one and all, to Metroid Prime. Well, we look shinier than we did originally, do we? Do we, we kind of buff out our scratches, or...? Yeah, well, we... Every time we do a scan, I like to think that that's, you know, getting all the all the dust and debris off. All, all the goop. All right, pirate transmissions intercepted, unique... Huh. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Right, 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 right. We gotta go back to the phase on mines to get that, that all thing. All the way get. back yeah, to right, the phase on mines. Uh, oh, we've... Yeah, yeah, we'll get that, don't worry, okay, it's Yeah, it's... It, it's fine, computer. We're good. There are so much more of those mines. Yeah, well, we don't have clearance yet. Well, well, go get clearance, I'm telling dude. you, we don't have clearance. We gotta get clearance first. Go get clearance. All right, let's go to the phase on mines, though. Okay, cool. Yeah, when you said last episode we're gonna end up in the phase on mines, I was like, uh, next week, or...? Uh, but we're here. We're about to head to the phase on mines. Yes. Do we have to go through Magmore? Um... Nope, Talon Overworld. Not, okay. not, not today, no. Okay, cool. I didn't feel like walking on a highway and just, you know, diving into a pit of lava just for the funsies. Well, this was the elevator I was talking about earlier. So, th so, ba uh, so back there is uh, is the Chozo ruins. We're in Talon Overworld, and through this tunnel down here is another elevator that takes us right to the Phase On Mines. Holy shit! Really? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Very nice. You know, it's always interesting whenever we bring up things that happen in between recordings. <laughs> what is the context? You'll never know. Up. More intense radiation detected. Oh, fantastic. Oh, it's beautiful. I love radiation. Just rub it all over my body. Yep, all of, it, all of it my gametes. Just oh, right up here. Hey, do you think that Nintendo and Red Bull can, can get together when Metroid Prime 4 comes out? Mm -hmm. We get the blueberry version of Red Bull. Right. We just call it Phazon. New Phazon flavored Metroid Red Bull drink. <laughs> Tastes like disease. <laughs> Tastes like zombies. Look, if Halo and Gears of War can get uh, sponsorship deals with Mountain Dew, then I think Metroid can get Red Bull. Huh? Come on. I don't know if uh, Nintendo would go for something so unhealthy. They don't really do a lot of, a lot of uh, drink uh, promotions, do they? I can see that. Now, if they did Red Bull with, let's say, We Fit or Ring Fit Adventures, uh, I don't, maybe I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think they'd be into it. Maybe usually, usually when Nintendo does promotions, it's not, it's like with you know clothing or you know Lunchables or something, or you know the banana thing in Donkey Kong Country Returns. That was a mess. What? You didn't hear about that? No. They had somebody promoting Donkey Kong Country, and I think it was it was Donkey Kong Country Returns, and they just had somebody either giving away bananas or just standing in a Donkey Kong suit for hours on end and getting heat stroke. It was it was a whole thing. Ooh. You should look it up. Ooh. It was one of. That just sounds like somebody wasn't thinking. Uh, yes. A marketing disaster, to say the least. That's a management disaster. No one thought to get the poor bastard some water? Or, you know, maybe not stand in the middle of a zoo in a Donkey Kong costume in the middle of summer? Maybe switch out the people every so often? Oh, well, yeah, like... That would have been a great idea. Two-hour shifts, maybe? Please do not kill Donkey Kong with heatstroke? <laughs> and the people who play him? <laughs> 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 Grant Kirkhope plays Donkey Kong, and it's fantastic to think that he would sound like that in a DK suit. He wouldn't need a DK suit, though, because he's already there. Is that a joke about his size? No. He <laughs> wouldn't need a DK suit, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> Knuckle-walking piece of sh- <laughs> The, the maker of great music is actually an ape, and has been the whole time. <laughs> I knew it! What?! <laughs> Whoa! Well, that's just blowing my mind. Little Rare... TMZ gets a lot of this! <laughs> Rare actually hired Donkey Kong. The actual Kong himself. Whoa! I thought that they were using top-of-the-line silicon graphics, but wow. it turns out it was just photographs, rotoscoped. Jesus, man. God, we need to go to game theory about this. Is Grant Kirkhope actually an ape? Well, I mean, technically, if you... Are the characters in Donkey Kong Country based on real people? <laughs> Find out today. Thanks for the 10 million views. Appreciate it. 
How many of those millions of views are just like, uh, okay, what? I know mine were at a certain point. I don't like giving people that satisfaction sometimes. I mean, the one I stopped on was, are the GTA cops actually racist? I was like, and the okay. answer is obviously. Okay. Uh, time to time to turn this off forever. Maybe unsub. Yeah, let's do that. There, there's there's no way you could have written that episode without. Real, it not not a good idea. No, no, and in fact, everybody agreed with me in the comment section. It's like, really, really, okay. It, no. no. Okay. No. No. Break out. Aw, uh, break out! That guy's not gonna break out. Damn it. Not unless we use some, uh, Bendesium. Oh. You mean... You mean like... Power you, bomb? Yes. Yeah, you, you mean like that? He's not gonna break out. We're gonna break him out! Perhaps prematurely. Maybe Hi. he's not ready yet. That means he's ready to die! You look disgusting, my friend. This here is a Phazon Elite. Also known... Yeah, Phazon Elite. Mm-hmm. A wave quake. Huh. Plasma artillery cannons. Yikes. Drastically lower lifespan. So he'll probably just, like, die as he's fighting us? So they they infused their pirates with phase on, and that, and that kind of worked for a while. And then they said, well, hey, let's put more in, and then their cell makeup kept breaking down. Well, <sighs> they got a good formula. They, fa they found a way to pump enough phase on into their, in, into their uh, pirates so that way they can, like, live. But the thing is, they don't live long. But okay. they're powerful, and they're and they're subservient, and they're and they're really really strong and powerful. So hey, good enough. I guess. But if your guy is living the life of a fly, I mean, do you really want to spend all that time in Phazon? If it's cheap enough, yeah. Well, I mean, can you really put a price tag on power like this? Well, no. That's why they're doing it themselves. Like they have cameras all over this lab filming the commercial for the Phazon that's going to be selling, like, hotcakes after this. Except for that part. They can edit that out. I really hope the Federation doesn't find out about this place. And hey, look at that! Yeah, I can actually see the Federation going, Oh, hey, that looks fun. The Federation not made the best choices all the time. Who needs Metroids when you got super awesome pirates? Four keys. Nice. Yep, that one was, uh, the Chozo Artifact of Warrior. Because mm -hmm. we had to prove we were, like, a warrior to defeat the big, mm -hmm. strong bad guy! Mm -hmm. Maybe earlier than anticipated. That's okay. Well, we didn't want to fully incubate that guy. I mean, I mean, have you seen him? If he gets any more powerful, I mean, we won't be able to finish him off in the flexing contest. Wait, she did what? Ow! She blew up the... Oh, this is, this is a mean spot. Now they've installed, uh, rocket cameras, basically. <laughs> rocket. Oh, I'm running out of missiles now! Rocket cam... This shoot, is not good. Shooting on the Samus when she comes in. Ow. Yeah, kick. Shooting on the Samus when she comes in. Doc. Ow! You stop fucking fucking shooting me! Stop it! Damn it! Stop! Taking care of this guy, but apparently the missiles just... <laughs> I, I shoot missiles, damn it, and I keep pressing the X button for some reason! <laughs> what were you playing before this? I swear... Well, Doom Eternal, but... Okay. <laughs> I, sw I swear, I my thumb is nowhere near the X button, and it still triggers. I don't know why. I don't know why I have so much problems taking out these fucking camera... <clears throat> is your controller breaking? No, it's fine. Oh, okay. Everything else works great. Except for these gosh darn turrets. Guess, you know, I, I, could, I could flush it with some alcohol next time, but... Yeah. I gotta save that for Prime 2. God, Prime 2. We're back here at the at the rail thing again. Do we solve the rest of it? Yep. Oh, nice. So, red rail up to the second floor here. Just kinda... Whoa! Oh, Whoa! Well. Alright. That'll never happen again. Ever. We found a glitch after so many years. This game has glitches? Really? What? Next you're gonna tell me you can sequence break it. 
Let me guess. Co- this is co- yeah. Ben Desi. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ben Desi means Ben to blow a power bomb. Ooh. You know, I'm really glad that the power bomb, while being extremely explosive and powerful, still cannot destroy all the other machinery around us. It's very selective. I guess. Because I remember when we got the power bombs in Metroid Dread, and that just rocked the entire planet, it seemed like. I'm also thinking that the power bombs have, like, increased in power. Over the, Oh, yeah, over the over the many missions. They gotta be bad enough for Adam Malkovich to go, all right, no fucking power bombs. But what if, if yes, power bombs? It's like, like, they're fine, though. What's wrong with them? But, Adam, they're power bombs. Nope, nope. Talking about Metroid Other M again. Can't do it. No. Enough. This is positive. This is prime. This is good Metroid. This is prime. This is prime. <laughs> this is Metroid. <laughs> God, I go for Transformers. You go for you go for a musical. I go for the Clash. It's perfect. New area, important weapon. This will finally take us to full strength. Officially. Finally, the grapple beam. The goddamn grapple beam. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. There has always been one item in the entire Metroid series that has always just been a thorn in my side. It's the grapple beam. Hmm. No different here. So just... the, way the, the way the grapple beam works is that now you can see where you can grapple onto, but it's kind of a little selective on when you can grapple onto. Sometimes when, you know, it, it, it's supposed to turn blue, so you press L and then you can grapple onto it. Uh huh. Sometimes it doesn't turn blue, but you still grapple onto it. Sometimes it turns blue and you don't grapple onto it. Not gonna lie, that looked a little jank. It's 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 quite jank. Okay. Grapple beam is not my friend. Good to know. We're we're not gonna have a good time with the grapple beam. Okay. Well, you might, and you at home might. I guess I won't have a good time with the grapple beam. To all of you who just dug out your GameCube just to prove this man wrong. First of all, good job for the bit. But second of all, <laughs> commit, <laughs> commit to the bit. Yeah, Never lose to that. The bit. <laughs> Never forget. Always commit to the bit. But uh, I, ho- I have hoped you enjo- have enjoyed Metroid Prime up to this point, even if you're doing a bit. It's a funny bit. Well, even if it's not a bit, go play Metroid Prime. Mm-hmm. Get, get the Prime Trilogy, get it on GameCube, doesn't matter, just get your hands on Metroid Prime. See, I can't wait for this series to end, and the day you release the final episode is the day Nintendo announces not only the Prime Trilogy, but also, finally, a trailer for Metroid Prime 4. It's gonna be hilarious. I'm, I'm committing to the first releases of, of Prime, though. Time, you know, gotta commit to the bit, gotta commit to version 1.00 for all three games. No, oh, Jesus. No, no trilogy nerfing for me, buddy boy. <laughs> yeah, does this... Do you have a version 1 of Echoes and... Um, crap, what's the third one called? Corruption. Corruption. Yeah, I do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Nice. Well, I assume it is, because I had to get two copies of Metroid Prime 3. Well, you got them day one, if I remember correctly. Early enough, I don't think there was a reissue in between. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Because I remember you. I remember when you got your Wii. God, this is a million years ago. And within, like, a week, you got Metroid Prime 3. And I was like, oh, sweet. I fucking love Metroid Prime 3. It's, it's, it's so good. Oh, God. See, I can't wait to see a comparison between this, Echoes, and then finally getting to Corruption. And then it all goes away with other M. And then it vanishes without a trace. And then we come back to Prime 4 when that comes out. See, the thing is, after Metroid Prime 3, it just, you know, Metroid kind of fell off until Dread came out. It's weird. I mean, yeah, I think, were, think it was like a uh, filler comic. Because they, they, they moved Retro Studios to do Mario Kart and Donkey Kong. And they haven't really had the need for, uh, for Metroid. And Metroid came back with Samus Returns. That is true. But then they tried to do... Uh, other M, because Yoshio Sakamoto thought he had a really good idea. He didn't. What are you talking about? I thought that was like a comic. Other M? Well, next you're telling me, like, Hunters, Pinball. I mean, those were just all comics. Nobody reads the comics. Well, Pinball was a pinball machine. Oh, that's true. Hunters is just a side story in between. It's, it's, it has the prime name. It's kind of like the Star Wars Boba Fett of the series. 
I mean, it just has nothing to do with Phazon. It has something to do with something else. No, instead of Phazon, it's not a phase, Mom. It's perfect. It writes itself. In, in Metroid Prime Hunters, there's like this beacon saying, Hey, check it out. Over here. Ultimate power, baby. You want ultimate power in the universe? Come right here. Right here. And Federation's, uh, Federation calls up Samus Rand and is like, uh, Yeah, could you check that out, please? Other bounty hunters are going to check it out, and we'd really prefer if you had it and not them. Well, I'm glad they trust us. Trust us enough to, <laughs> to go behind our back all the time. Still early in the relationship. I, I guess. But how long are we going to stay early in the relationship? I mean, come on, buy her some flowers at this point. If I some flowers, you get her a job in middle management. <laughs> I wouldn't even Go buy her fucking I, flowers. I wouldn't even <laughs> offer a job in middle management. That just seems so degrading compared to everything else. You, how, how, about, how about you pay the woman? How's that? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> you pay her with hey, extra. Wait, wait a minute. You yeah, pay she's... her with extra. You do it with the bow and you thank you. And you say thank you. Come back again. Thank you for your good work. We appreciate all that you do for this uh, for this solar system and for the Federation. Uh, here's a gift card to Olive Garden for $50. Uh, be sure to get un the unlimited soup salad breadsticks. Mm, good stuff. And then she says she's gluten-free, and then they just don't know what to do. Hey, wait a minute. I know where we are. We're at the beginning of the game again. We are, yes. Why? Because we need something. Okay. I believe you. We, we got a one upgrade a piece to get. We have to cut through the entirety of Chosa Runes to do it. Oh, uh, thank God. I, I love backtracking. It's like my favorite thing to do. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be facetious like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love backtracking. It's my favorite thing to do. What? Well, actually, uh, let, let me go ahead and clarify. What I mean is... <laughs> In this essay, Cause I, I will... Because I'm backtracking, see? Yeah. In this Twitter essay, for 50 tweets, I will tell you about how good backtracking is. Backtracking. A thread. <laughs> God, I hate those. But it's always funny, because I can always tell when they're... when they're taking the piss out of a, out of a topic. <laughs> God, what... <laughs> I may have mentioned this another time. It's just like... Uh, so we have found out that Dracula is actually a magical girl. In this thread, I will. Oh! Oh, that's a lot of lava. Yeah, show me how you that's... swing. Alright, here we go. Huh? Huh? Uh, landed Ooh. it. Alright. Easy. Good. What the hell's over here? All of that for nothing. Powerbomb, maybe? Called it. Oh, Ben Desi. Yep, yeah. mm hmm. Blow this sucker. Wow. Here we have oh my God. a power bomb expansion and the Ooh. final Chozo lore. Final? The final one. Final. The last one. Those better be good. This one's called Newborn. Power? power of our temple has been enough to halt the spread of the poison of Talon 4, but that which remains thrives and grows more concentrated, gnawing on itself in the dark passages beneath the planet's surface. Whether it can ever be truly destroyed is not for our eyes to see, but there is something else. We chose our drifting, tumbling through space and time as the great poison eats away at our sanity. We wake in dreams. As a veil of lunacy, uh, the past and future blend and shuffle. One image appears and flickers into the landscape unwraith-like. It is the hatchling, the newborn, walking the path of corruption, a lone figure shining in the toxic, toxic shadows. She comes dressed for war, and her eyes and her wrath is terrible. Do our eyes look backwards, seeing the hatchling as she once was? Or does she approach even now, arriving in our race's last hour, a savior clothed in machines crafted long ago by Chozo hands? Poisonous clouds drift across our vision. Are we secretly evil? Or is there something else? Boy, you read that wrong. Uh, well, you read that so wrong. Well, let me think about it for a second. Unless they see a... Uh... They see you as a savior. Check it. Through here. Yeah. Whoosh! Oh, wow. Missile expansion! Nice. She is capable, she is strong. Terrible is her wrath and her anger as in, and her fury of our, of our people. She will save us. Save what's left of us. Quell the darkness. But we're ghosts, so who gives a shit? You're here to quell our darkness. Damn it! <laughs> 
I, I'm not even trying. I'm not pressing the X button. I swear. Look, you're just going by canon in that she really loves to be in the ball. She love. Uh, she does love the roundness. So. I love being in the ball. The ball is my safety. She's basically solid snake, but with a morph ball. Yeah, if I were to rewrite uh, Samus getting PTSD at C. Ridley, she just, you know... <laughs> basically go into her own version of a turtle shell. <laughs> Rock around like, nope, 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 no, 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 no. I don't like it, I don't like it. Actually, uh, honestly, if, if you allowed me in the writer's room, I would just say, well, why not go for the full comedic effect and turn her into a babbling idiot? Like, if you're gonna go full camp, go full camp. And then Sakamoto goes, yeah, that was our first draft, but... <laughs> Shit. Like, I can... I, uh. yeah, you know, had it continued, do you think the game would have ended with her getting an emotional support Metroid? <laughs> her eyes shifted to the left. Of looking yeah, the I like that. That was cool! Yeah. What do you mean, emotional support Metroid? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what she would have done with the baby Metroid. Well, like, she, I know what she would have done with the baby Metroid. She hands it off to science. Mm -hmm. So why did other M focus so much on the goddamn baby? It's like the baby. That, that, that. Yeah, it's well, sad. Yeah, it stinks. But you knew it was for the greater good. Well, now she doesn't have an excuse to go into hotels with an animal anymore. Do you need one? Asking for a friend. Let's just say I've seen people who fake emotional support animals and it's the most disgusting thing ever. Oh god, really? Mm hmm Oh, come on. Just so they can take their animal in places they're not allowed to go. God, it's despicable. Are they obviously not, uh, support animals? Well, let's just say I've seen one dog who was scared of a door. And I was like, that's not an emotional support mm -hmm. animal. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Please don't fake this. It's actually important. Two more E-Tanks? Uh, yeah. It's about how many are, that can fit up there. Two more E-Tanks. It's either that or the game just, you know, corrupts and it just keeps going until it flies off screen. It gives you one extra E-Tank on a second line and that's it. <laughs> For those of us who can't stand that, <laughs> please say psych. Say psych! I will kill Metroid Prime! We'll just have to find out. <laughs> I mean, we're, get, we're going pretty fast with the game. We'll, we'll get it in due time. You'll see. <laughs> he said, now panicking more than ever. <laughs> yeah, grapple beam now! Don't mess it up! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, missile expansion. Sweet. She is. I hate grapple beam sometimes. Uh. All right. Was that everything here? Yeah, we're good. Okay, sweet. I, I, think, I think that's like almost everything in Jozo Ruins. Oh my god. Because we're running out of power-ups, which means we're running out of uh, blockades that they can give us. Well, uh, back to the phase on mines. Yeah, back to Talon Overworld, actually. Back to Talon Overworld, that's what I said. You did say that, you're don't, right. Don't misconstrue. Come on, man. Everything yeah. I say, just fix it in post. <laughs> Got a lot more, uh, backtracking and stuff to get here, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm okay it's... with that. Well, it'll be, it'll be a time. It'll, it'll be fine, don't worry about it. See, when I said- just, just know what we're doing is progress. When I said I was passive-aggressively, you know, complaining about backtracking, I actually don't mind it. It's kind of one of those turn-your-mind-off-listen-to-a-podcast kind of activities I like doing in games, so. It's just part of the exploration, and again, they do make it better in future games. Did I tell you about the passive-aggressive voicemail box? Yes. I did? Yes. Oh, shit. You did. Okay. Did I tell the audience? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm assuming you just po uh, posted that episode and I've already forgotten. You know what you didn't tell them? Mm. About that terrible faux pas you just pulled! Ho ho ho! God, no! I shouldn't be invited back to Metroid! Ugh! Well, I'll do a performance review and uh, I actually kind of need you. Okay, cool. I need, I need someone to go, wow! Ooh, cool! Yeah, great! <laughs> you need a hype, man. So, uh, so, uh, go, go ahead and re audition then. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa, that's so cool! Mm hmm. Wow! Uh huh. Look at that wave beam! Mm hmm. It's like an actual beam noodle thing! Mm hmm. I love it! 
Oh, ho hold on. It says here in the script. <clears throat> Metroid, Metroid. Very good, very good. Oh, uh, uh, yay. Uh, we will, we will, uh, t y you know what? You got the job. <gasps> when can you start? Oh, dude. How about next time on Metroid Prime? Sounds good. Although, you know, it just, it just feels nice to do this wave buster. I just, I just like seeing it. Missile's low. Missile's low. Yeah. Dude, miss dude, dude, no, no, no! Missile's low. Missile's depleted. Yeah, no problem. You just saved over- No! No! Okay, good. Alright, this will be on your employee evaluation. See you next time on Metroid Prime! <laughs>